last week, last week demos from Isham, actually from Lodan, it's for Isham, was about, um, so we saw a demo about dynamic data from solutions. It was from Mount One, but made by Isham. And in Zotan, you know, what was it? It was the Swagger model. The what? The Swagger model. Swagger, Swagger, it, model. Swagger integration. Swagger. Swagger. And using the live preview feature in different yes, screen one. sizes. Well, it was a bug. It worked, but it was a bug. Live preview. And dynamic data questions. Okay. We talked about also the major attributes. Um, so today, twelve twenty-two demo. No Zoltan, no Dean, no Ishan, no demos. Um, so Thierry said he had new sites. He will tell us about soon. Demos, demos, topics, if you have any questions, whatever. Um, so status or one. There's been some things merged. Was the triage we check some PRs. So what when was it? Oh. So this one fixes H5 here, five zero. So I need permission to the management of users being in two specific orders on them. Permissions changes manage users by roles. So we can only manage the users in specific roles. This is permission manage users in role, blah, blah, blah. So for each role, there is a new permission we can assign to other roles, like this role can, or these users can change people in this role. Like I am the external contributor manager, and you can add or remove people in this role. Uh, there are the events to support that, and that's it. And then checking the permission, so which probably is implied by many users. Okay. And that's the change, the branch, object core, it's new synthetic. Here we have Antoine, new computer. Make control resource major law is enabled. The idea that if you disable this feature, then nothing works in the admin. So this one is always enabled. The idea with this one is that you can't disable it if you enable it. Doesn't mean it will be enabled by default, it means you can't disable it. Just because if it's enabled, then usually it's required by another module like admin. I think someone suggested the admin might be requiring that one. That works also the issue. Use H1 on login for SEO. Okay. And then I'll continue the process. Yep. Using the instead of I UI helper. generator. I wonder why it's important. 
texte. Generator. Maybe the URL is actually doing that in the end. Um, so I need to, have to accept someone. Oops, then thank you. Generator 11505. They would want to say if you need to say something. I actually didn't want to be heard. Um, so this link is wrong. I URL have to. I don't know why, though. Oh, first we used IRL and the factory. Right, so. Which is easy, I like the OPS it. Yeah, maybe in C0, there was a change that made. That's at least not being registered by default. Okay, main generator. Uh, update, 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 and update. Okay, questions, comments, topics? Wow, that was quick. I just shipped it like an hour ago. This one should go in because it's fixing a bug. Two bug. That's an easy change. Look like a change. Um, updates to the themes, interesting, in long time. I don't recall they were in six something. Are there big changes? No, no, just small, small changes. Here, let's copyright versions of Toronto Sun. Looks like just one thousand. So it's a big natural version of one thousand. Interesting. Good. So my it just done before the um Cypress update. That's uh, I can change. What's the name of the section? Something good.
Different structure ones. Get the charge for it. It's all here. Okay, we'll check on Thursday. Um, why this? Ooh, and text is an upside this one. Let's check. We should react on Thursday. We haven't done much PR the last time. Um, system six is an interesting for GraphQL at that age. Right, this right there. Oh, that was a wrapper before. Oh, I remember. Ah, I see. I remember I made a comment that said it was buffering everything because it had to be this I need to buffer everything in memory, which was bad for perf. Let's say user prefer stream, but now JSON system JSON system text JSON supports that, so that's good. Well, it's good. Simple change. Yeah, explicit dependency is probably implicit with the other references, but being explicit is always good. Looks good. I like it. Good job. I'll get, yeah, you see. <laughs> From a fork to another fork, which is used to do a PR. I hope you will accept it. Uh, Antoine is only that it appears on this record. So Antoine's fork to upgrade to GraphQL 4. And this is a PR from Mike's fork to Antoine's fork. I like it. Um, extra HTML attributes management and recapture module. Why is that? I think recapture module should be always to add extra HTML attributes. Mm, I can get the things in my room. I have no idea what it is. Let's trace them. Um, we use links to for our own knowledge. Interesting. So then, recapture script ID, script type, script class. So recapture module, okay, so that's very specific recapture, that's not generic, so that's good. Uh, section, section, model, with description, provide capture, recapture properties, new properties in the model, new properties in the settings, with the UI, script ID, script type, this is class, I'm not sure the casing is, Yes, that this one is good. ID exceptions good. So uh, here we just see uppercase. Maybe we should be consistent. See uppercase. It's just a mystic here. So oh. No. So I could just submit a suggestion, but I can also just the file of me. The event. 
updates. Click uh, type. Uh, I don't know because of this, something like that, sublime type. What else could it be? Yes, that's classic. So the change is really is low risk and but continues. It's an important oh, because we capture might create some cookies. Cookies before consent. Okay, and then you might need some custom attributes for this. Okay, interesting. Nice to see instructions to talk abstractions. Ah, uh, uh, uh. that's not a solution. That's a mitigation. And we really need just to fix this issue right on the way. I'm not opposed to moving it. I just wonder why we move. Ah. You know the changes. Yeah, no, this thing needs to be encoded, that's all. Should be encoded that sluggy file. And if something is common, that's fine, that's not the same thing. It's not sluggy for certification. Yeah. I, I, I understand, but uh, here it just needs to be encoded. I changed the method here uh, to allow to pass. Uh, a custom separator for the sluggify method, and I just uh, made the sluggify method as an application level service. So it registers the method and the service uh, for each tenant. And opposed to what we have right now, we have a scoped service, which is uh, not necessary. I'm okay to give the PR and cut it, but not for to fix this issue. If this PR also fixes the issue, we should not take the change that fixes the issue. It's not the correct fix. I will cut the comments later.
third solution, but I don't think it's the still the solution. Is that the way else it's? we could have a method that does um we don't need another method. We just need code. And here the code is just to um to encode that value with a char set that is valid there, for instance, base 64. Just as an example. So here, here, here we need to encode. It was using URL encode, but apparently it's not URL encode is the wrong encoding because it has parentheses. So let's not use URL encode. If it's base 64 encode, let's use base 64. Might be something else. So what was the name? We are encode. Um, another way, even better, well, even better, another valid way is to use a, uh, an accept list. We just define what characters we accept. Everything else is encoded using some encoding. URL encode will still not be the solution, but it could be an encoding that will map any chart to something else. Um, and and so cookie name here, how is it used? anti forgery which means we also need the same thing when we read it. Using the same method here. It can't be just there. Because if we provide a cookie name, what is this method? Add and forgery. So where is cookie name used? Did it name? Name? Response, but when? Where do we? So we need to look for where we read the cookie. Or do we set the cookie name in some other cookie so that we don't have to delete the cookie name? Yes, okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's why. That's where we set the, the name of the cookie. Okay. Um, so we don't need to do it twice. That's good. This is the cookie name for this tenant. Um, it just has to be unique. So name, this is our unique ID. We don't have like a number or whatever. So it could be an accept list like from A to Z and numbers is valid. Otherwise replace with something else. But something that is not a constant because that could be complete. Something like uh, person, something, but not your adding code. Your adding code is bad here. Your adding code. We are using escape your eye string or something like that. Uh, maybe as a solution. Sixty-four escape data right. Another question: You're um, replacing the parentheses. Would that possibly also get confused with a path that intentionally did not have any parentheses? Environment content root path. The issue is only in the content root path. What is content root path? Well, that that was 
I mean, just reading the line on its face, um, that was, the, I guess the intent there was replacing the parentheses, but what if yeah. you didn't name a, a path with the parentheses? What, would it, that, would that it be confused with that? That won't have any impact, that's fine. It's just apparently the bug they found was when you have parentheses. In the could be any other chore here. Yeah. What do you mean? Could be any other chore. It could be uh, a dot uh, or virgule, <laughs> a comma. comma. But mm. what do you mean? Could be a comma here. I mean, is 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 that when you say it could be any other? Like if I replace this line with something else, it would work. Or is it that there might be other things that will yeah, there, okay. there there could be other things in the yeah, URL. Yeah. That's why we need a different encoding that and that. But it's well, not the it URL. But oh, I see. So that's it why doesn't need to be thing. exact. It doesn't need to be exact because it just needs to uh, generate proper cookie name, which would I be agree. always the same okay. without this those chores. Yeah, this is wrong. Totally, I agree. Yeah, this is completely a bug. So Slug service is a solution, but I don't think it's the solution we should use. We should use an encoding that is baked in. You should not have to use ice lux service. Yeah, I kind of agree because it's kind of not the uh, purpose. And maybe one day in Slug service we will accept parentheses, wire, right? Or comma or dot or whatever. And then it will fail for cookie. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying we need a, an encoding that will work with cookies. So something with cookie name, something like that, but something like that. The escape data you are hiding there is in Orchard, something that Jean Siri coded, or it's something that is already in um, the... No, it's URI dot something. And okay, what we yeah. have, and we already used that to change last year to fix some of the headers with encoding also, because there are more parameters inside where you can say what type of. At the same time here, we talk about an URI, so the same logic applies if something changes. Yeah, yeah. so probably we need custom method. Maybe yeah. base64 is better then. Intent root path. What is, what is that? I don't remember. The name I get it. So for each cent, we have a different cookie name. But then what? Oh, but why do we add that? Um, I probably wrote this line so I can understand that thing. If I wrote it, it I, I assume it, it was, but well, even if it's not very whatever, I mean, it, might, it means that change is going to be Generally, <laughs> you use this with uh, media files to get the content proof path of the website, but yeah, I don't know why we would that need that for the or for each tenants because they are different. But then there's a different name, so the cookie will be different for each tenant. Yeah, yeah. It's arbitrary. I think he used the content proof yeah. path there because he. But no, it's it's there. So he so we wrote that. That means good question. <laughs> but I think. Based on this code, because I worked on that, I, I made that name. So. so, but at the same time, why we don't just generate one from a unique user ID? I mean, no, we need to change by tenant because otherwise you could get an anti forgery token for one tenant from one tenant and use it on a separate tenant on the same service to fake the request. That's why we need for each tenant. I mean, if we generate a unique ID by by using the settings that name yes. here. The thing, we can use a grid. We can use a grid. Yeah. Exactly. We could use a grid. It was easier to just say use the name. Like, so we see. Um, yeah. No, I agree with you. I'm I'm just wondering why that. Maybe we can just remove that and then if this yeah, one just like we could already, use the MD5. Uh, yeah. Generated by the. the but if you have an MD5, you still need to do base 64 on that. So you don't need to do MD5. You need to do MD5 here only if you want to limit the size of the string that we add. But the name is already constrained. So blame. It's blame people. 
you can add all these people working on this issue, on this line. This uh, is myself. Ah, ah, uh, yeah, that's good. I like it. So before, okay, when I wrote it, it was this way, and then Gentry says, let's fix some issues. No, I know, because at some point when we set up the site, probably there is no name, something like that. Okay, what does it say? Fix it on the new setup that we still have all of one line application from the given location and looking to the end. Okay. Using this setup seems to be an issue, but can you can you then you get a new cookie on the setup. That's okay. Yes, because it's a new client. So I suggest the following that only add your application location. That also works. Okay, well, I mean, that also works. But in this case, we introduce a bug, we don't think about it. So this one will not introduce a bug because all the charts of read are valid. And if you use the n string parameter, it will also remove the dashes. So it's even better. Yeah. So I prefer that actually. Uh, okay. So yeah, so that's just, we can remove that, we can use that, and that will be even better. Boom, as in URL encoded. So I suggested URL encoded, which is good idea, but it's wrong because it didn't work with parentheses, so that's bad. And it's not automatically done because proof is that one pass through the encoded. may have special charms. Or tenant name classification. Because tenant name may have special charms. Okay. It's still not sufficient. Issue with that. Thirty six Charles. She's big. And um, and if we do base sixty four, it's even bigger. So this one is smaller because it will only encode the special Charles. Uh, okay, but that's the idea. I won't go into the details and I'm just going to this PR. Okay, and then we look at it. Do I say, do we need to move this to exactly the same lines? Okay, okay, let's be done with that. Any questions, comments? It's good. Yeah, all good here. Thanks. See you on Thursday. Thank you all next week. Have a good week. Bye bye.